everyone, my name is Megan and I'm going to be discussing J. Gresham Machen's role in the fundamentalist modernist controversy. Before I begin, let me just say that historians must have an honest and objective approach to their investigations and I am trying to have an objective approach with this topic. So the modernist fundamentalist controversy began in the late 19th century and took a mainstream approach in the early 20th century, specifically in the 1920s and the 1930s. And modernists argued about the fundamentals of the faith, specifically the Bible and how it was created by man and so it consisted of errors. And Dr. Roger Schultz actually posted an outline of these fundamentals of faith in one of the videos this week. And those fundamentals are the inerrancy of scripture, the deity of Christ, the virgin birth, the substitutionary atonement, the bodily resurrection, the reality of miracles, and Jesus' the second coming. And a lot of fundamentalists argued that without these basic doctrines that the Christianity that people were getting was so watered down that it wasn't even a true religion at that point. And so Machen was one of the fundamentalists during this period, and he was born in 1881, and he was a principal figure in the founding of the Orthodox Presbyterian Church. Um, he was considered a consecrationist, or at least his goal for the fundamentalist argument was, um, on how Christianity should shape or conform culture and society. And there's a newspaper article that mentions Machen's licensing by the Presbytery of the Potomac. And Machen taught the New Testament at Princeton Theological Seminary from 1906 to 1929. And he wrote a lot of criticism about the modernist movement, including... Christianity and Liberalism in 1920, The Origin of Paul's Religion in 1921, What is Faith in 1925, and The Virgin Birth of Christ in 1930. And he became the spokesman, so to speak, for the Presbyterian conservatives. However, the Northern Presbyterian Church rejected his arguments, and they reorganized Princeton Theological Seminary in 1929 into a more moderate school. And this led Machen to leave Princeton and form Westminster Theological Seminary in 1929 in Philadelphia. And he continued opposition to liberalism, and that led to the formation of the Independent Board for Presbyterian Foreign Missions in 1933. And Machen also wrote The Changing Scene and the Unchanging World in 1935, and it's a one-page article in their Presbyterian Guardian. Um, and he discusses how he's worried about attacks on liberty, the freedom of speech, and the centralization of power in Europe. And he actually predicts the beginning of World War II being not even nine year, not even four years before it started. Um, and he argues that the Bible is the word of God and that we can't trust the world, but we can only trust God. Um, and he was later tried, convicted, and suspended from the Ministry of Foreign Missions in 1935 to 1936, and this led him to form the Orthodox Presbyterian Church. He actually died six months later in 1937 as he was trying to rally for support for the church in Bismarck, North Dakota. And Machen is considered still the most important conservative Protestant thinker of the early 20th century. Thank you for listening. Have a blessed day, everyone.